Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Nikia Lindsay here. Today I am bringing you my first wig hair tutorial. Um, I want to go into the new year doing new things, so I wanted to try my hands on wigs because the girl hates doing her hair. This is the Boca bundle. Um, it came with three bundles, 18, 20, and 22, and it came with a um, closure, um, a 4x4 free parting closure. This is super deep in the number TT4 slash 613, which is basically this nice, rich chocolate brown ombre um, down into a blonde. Okay, like I said, y'all, please do not come for me. This is my first. This is my first wig, y'all, like, and I'm trying to do a beauty on a budget type of thing, so if you're interested in it, leave me a comment down below, please let me know, beauty on a budget, why I'm bringing you beautiful hair on that bougie pocket, but that budget pocket, please let me know if that is something you'll be interested in, it don't really matter, because I'm still going to pump that content out anyway, but you know, feedback is feedback is so important like I I appreciate the feedback let me know if you would like that I'm rambling enjoy the video you guys so I'm just showing you the hair this is the Boca bundle closure and bundle set the bundles are a little bit on the smaller side but I'm just showing you the length and the color this is the closure I did not bleach the closure guys this is the true color so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply that to my wig cap bringing it down about half an inch and I'm using my T pins to secure it please make sure you secure your closure nice and flat you don't want any humps bumps you want it nice and flat so when you sew it on it'll be smooth and seamless just like that now to sew on the closure i'm just going to go ahead and use a curved needle and black thread um make sure you don't sew through the wig cap you just want to like puncture it a little bit if that makes sense don't go through the wig cap i'm just showing you guys my first stitch i like to pull the needle through just to secure it this isn't going to be like an in-depth tutorial but if you guys would like a really in-depth how-to tutorial then please let me know down below this is my first wig video so you know I wasn't too in-depth with it, but if you want me to make it in-depth, please let me know. But I'm just going to go ahead and stitch this um, closure onto my wig cap. And I am using a spandex dome cap. I'm sorry for the blurriness, guys. My autofocus was just, you know, it was just doing what it wanted to do. I'm so sorry. And when I sew on the closure, I like to do one side at a time. So I do one side and then I'm just going to cut that, tie it like a double knot, well a triple knot, and then cut off the excess thread. And I'm basically just going to go ahead and do all sides of the closure. So this is what your closure should look like when you are done sewing. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie up that hair so it won't be in my way as I'm working and trying to sew the bundles onto the wig cap. Also, y'all, I had to wet this hair because the flyaways was crazy, okay? This synthetic wig was really acting up. Okay, look at that. 
played me. What? So I'm gonna take this white eyeliner pencil. If you have a Sharpie, that'll be even better. And I'm going to measure out where I want to place the tracks. So the first line I'm gonna draw is right above the, um, what is that called? The band in the back. So I'm just going straight across. I don't know why I curved that side, but you go straight across like that. I'm gonna take my thumb as a measurement and just place it above each line that I draw. I use my thumb because I do double the tracks in the back. If you're single tracking it, then you can just use your pointer finger. I've seen so many people do this on YouTube in their tutorials. So I want to give it a try and this actually really does help you with your measurements, even though mine are slightly crooked. Okay, we're not gonna talk about it. Um, it did what it had to do and I followed it for majority of the tutorial well majority of the video so but you're just gonna go and do that around the whole head this is so optional if you're a pro you don't have to do it but I did it and this is what I'm working with at the end of that now I'm gonna go ahead and sew my tracks like I said I did double the tracks in the back I didn't want to double all of them because, like I said, the bundles in this pack of hair is so thin, like so thin. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew the tracks. I do measure them, pin them with my, my um, T-pin and just sew it on. If that makes sense. Like I said, do not sew through the wig cap. You just wanna grace the surface. Like you just wanna put your needle through the surface of the cap. Cause like I said, if you go through your wig cap sewing, you will mess up the elasticity and you won't be able to put the wig on your head cause it won't have no stretch to it. So just be careful. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm literally just going like through like the top layer of the cap, not even going through the dome cap. And I'm not really neat with this. I'm just sewing. Um, you can do your stitches closer together, but me, I am just going wider because your girl was being a little lazy. And this was just like my first practice wig. So it's not like I'm gonna go out the house with this wig. This is just my in-house trying to be sexy, take pictures wig, okay? Um, I'm just gonna fast forward and you guys are just gonna watch me sew this wig. Um, yeah. I'm over here sewing wigs and my fiance be trying to get me to sew his clothes and I just pick the wigs to sew. <laughs> I'm just sewing. See the lines that I made were such good guidelines. Like all you have to do is just go over them. Here we go with the out of focus. If you're still watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and follow me on my social medias it's gonna be down below in the description box okay thank you so much and thumbs up this video if you're still watching and you're like loving this video thus far please All right, so I just want to show you what I have thus far. I did wet the hair because, like I said, the flyaways was, like, really blowing me. So I had to wet the hair, and I clipped it away. Just wanted to show you guys what I had thus far. So now, in this clip, I'm almost done with everything. Um, this part is where the tracks go straight across and not that curve. So what I'm doing, I'm doing the same old stitch. Make sure you don't stitch it through the cap, but you just grace the surface. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. And to connect that track that goes across to the next track underneath, I sew it right into each other. And then I am looping that string around the needle to secure that end of the knot. Now for the last track, what I do is I like to, I chose to do this. I chose to sew 
the lash track into the closure so it can be seamless nice and seamless and flawless so you won't really see you know the little lace i didn't think about cutting that little lace off but i did this and i really like the way it came out so you're making it very seamless to literally just sew the last track right into the closure but don't pierce the cap i'm just gonna reiterate it do not pierce the cap Now I'm just finishing off the sewing. The girl is tired making this wig, okay? I probably finished this wig at like 11 o'clock at night. No bull, 11 o'clock at night. And I'm gonna clip off that extra string after I secured it. And voila, baby, the wig is done. Now I'm just showing you guys what the wig looks like with the frontal down and everything. This is a free part, so you can middle part it, do whatever you want. And this is what it's looking like. I do go ahead and pluck it off camera just a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys the back of this wig. I have it on my wig head. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bounce for a little Synthetica. Okay, she looks nice. She looks really cute. Okay. And I'm just showing you what the part looks like, how the lace looks underneath. So it's the next day. I installed the wig after I made it. Um, oh, shutting. Don't. Okay. Um, and I fell asleep last night. Um, just to lay it down, I used my it got to be glued um, freeze spray. Um, I did a little bit of the mousse from texture id for my um wanna be edges <laughs> um sidebar if you want to see me recreate if you want to see me do this makeup look then i'll link it right here or it'll be down below it should be posted by the time i post this hair um tutorial but actually i don't know which one i'm gonna post first but just know that this makeup look is on my channel um, I did pluck the hairline a little bit, but I don't want to OD pluck it, um, but I plucked it. Like I said, it's a closure, um, I don't really want to do a middle part, so I'm just gonna, this is my first wig, y'all, so please don't, don't try and come for your girl, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing anyway, so, um, my first time making a wig and little bumps and humps and everything but we're gonna learn we're gonna be popping and give me a couple months these wigs are gonna be laid laid to the gods okay so i'm about to just put a little bit okay my flat right is my thing i'm about to take my um hot comb this is my golden hot i've had this since the girl was in middle school I'm like close to 30 right now. So I'm just gonna. Oh, it's not hot enough, so I'm gonna let that get a little hot. I'm gonna take some mousse, just a little bit. And I'm gonna put it right on top. Put it through. I'm just finessing the part so I can put my makeup on it. So let me do. Well, I'm gonna do that after I flat iron it, but. It's cute, right? It's not really as flat because my braids underneath aren't really flat, flat. But all right, so I'm gonna take it. I definitely can pluck some more, but I'm not gonna do that. Like I said, I, this will be a wig just for like pictures and shit. So I don't need to do that too much. Hair sheds like crazy. Ugh. But yeah. Like that. Ooh. 
Okay, you guys, so I completely forgot to film an outro, but thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow all my social media sites. It'll be listed down below. Check out my previous video. It'll be linked above in the cards and also will be linked in the description box. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And until next video, bye.